Finding Strength in God The breath of God in man is what makes him a living being. Genesis 2.8 That is, man is not self-sustaining without God. The strongest man in the world is not the man that exercises most, but the man that allows the strength of God to complement his weakness. We can't do anything on our own without relying on God for strength. The worries of life can be burdensome when we rely on our own strength. So how do we navigate through hard times without breaking down? It is by relying on God's strength. When you think you can do everything on your own, you begin to tiptoe on that dangerous line known as pride, which is one of the most destructive sins in my opinion. The devil thought he didn't need God and now look where he is at. Now look at his future. Don't fall into the same trap of pride. We need God in our lives. We are not strong enough on our own. Don't be fooled into believing that man has accomplished all that it is today purely by their own strength. Relying on God is the key to success, the key to prospering. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians 4.13 Our consolation as believers is that we can do all things. How? Through Christ that strengthens us. Paul didn't say that he can do all things by his strength. No, but that through Christ, with God's strength in us, all things are possible. The best of human strength will amount to nothing without God. We know we are leaning on our own strength when we find ourselves exhausted and worn out. However, when we put our trust in God, we can achieve the seemingly impossible. Even when this earthly body loses strength, God will give you the strength that comes from within. Psalm 73, 26, My flesh and my heart fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. No man who has relied on God's strength ever got disappointed or defeated in life. Isaiah 41, 10, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. God will uphold you. He will not let you down when you put your strength in Him. But this requires trust and faith. You have to believe beyond a shadow of a doubt that God will strengthen you. There is no room for doubt. Never lose hope or give up when life is hard. Always set your gaze on God. Look at David. In every battle, he looked to God. He trusted in the Lord. His faith was on a completely different level than most people. Why? Because he knew the God he served, a God that would strengthen him and help him in his time of need. David said in Psalm 121, 1 through 2, I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills, from whence cometh my help, my help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. In other words, the strength of David comes from the Lord. David wrote this psalm at the time he was distressed. However, he trusted the Lord for strength, and he was never disappointed. What made David a mighty man in battle was not his physical strength, but his total reliance on God. When a man trusts the Lord, his weaknesses will be covered up, and he will appear to be a mighty man. The greatest tragedy is a life whose hope is not in God. The truth is, that there is no mighty man outside of God. If anyone claims to be mighty, then I'll tell him about the almighty God. Psalm 18, 1 through 2, I will love you, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength in whom I will trust, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. God deliberately chose David to confound Goliath. When God wants to show forth his strength, he often employs weak materials. David was a boy of 17 when he defeated Goliath. It is notable that David attacked Goliath not with the weaponry of a sling, but by the strength of the Lord. 
Then said David to the Philistine, Thou comest to me with a sword, and with a spear, and with a shield? But I come to thee in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom thou hast defied. 1 Samuel 17.45 When life attacks you with hardness, arm yourself with the strength of the Lord. With the strength of the Lord, your victory is ascertained. Your weakness and little strength is not a challenge for the Almighty. When you trust Him, you assume a mighty state. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge Him, and He shall direct thy paths. Proverbs 3, 5-6 You are a child of God. The royal blood of heaven is flowing in your veins. In Christ, there are no losers. In Christ, there is no defeat. God created you. God fashioned you. You are a child of the Most High God. You're not going to be the victim. You're going to be the victor because Christ is Lord over your situation. You are the head and not the tail. Whenever you are facing a mountain too big to be moved, remember you serve a mountain moving God. Whenever you are facing a giant too big to overcome, remember you serve a giant overcoming God. Only believe all things are possible for you. I think you have forgotten that we serve a God that cannot fail, who has never failed, who has promised us that if we call upon him, he would show us great and mighty things. God is on your side. God is with you. There may be times in your life when hell throws the kitchen sink at you. 2 Timothy 2.3 says, You therefore must endure hardship as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Although hard times do not bring pleasant experiences, they are not always to mar us. Believers should know that trials birth triumphs. However, the strength of God is required to navigate through hard times of life. 2 Corinthians 12.10 Therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in needs, in persecution, in distresses, for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. For instance, Job had a great trial in his life that many of us have never and will never have, yet he trusted in the Lord. In one of his confessions, Job said, For I know that my Redeemer liveth, and that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. Job 19.25 The trials of Job didn't make him to give up on God because he made God his strength. As confessed by Job, truly, the Bible recorded his latter end thus, so the Lord blessed the latter end of Job more than his beginning. For he had 14,000 sheep and 6,000 camels and a thousand yoke of oxen and a thousand she-asses. He had also seven sons and three daughters. Job 42, 12 through 13. This is the portion and heritage of men who take solace in God during their trials. The beauty of trials is that God is with us through them. When we learn to give our worries to God, His peace will guard our hearts and minds. No situation can cause us to be anxious when we bring our situations under the watch of God. In Judges 6, we see Gideon winning his battles because on God's strength. And he said unto him, O my Lord, wherewith shall I save Israel? Behold, my family is poor in Manasseh, and I am the least in my father's house. And the Lord said unto him, Surely I will be with thee, and thou shalt smite the Midianites as one man. Verses 15 through 16. God will never send a man on a mission he cannot do. He didn't ask Gideon to go to war on his strength. Therefore, he promised to be with him. Do you have a ministry? business, or any endeavor, 
You cannot make good success without God. Your understanding alone is not sufficient. You need the strength of God. Just as God's presence was with the assurance that Gideon needed to win his battle against his enemies, you need God's strength to fight your battles and get through life's challenges. God never asks us to carry our burdens and fight our battles in our own strength. He asked us to give our burdens to Him. Psalm 55, 22 says, Cast thy burden upon the Lord, and He shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. The strength of God can be available to you when you study the Word of God and apply it to every situation of life. And when you pray, above all, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Ephesians 6, 10.